Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana today has made a new low below the low of the 22nd of November. By doing that, it follows my expectation here. It follows the orange count. The um, short term upside potential we had been tracking is completely off the table. I mean, I took it already off the chart a few days ago um, when we broke key support, but now it's completely off the table. So we are following the orange count. Um, and uh, anybody who's been with us here for a while knows that I said, you know, the, the upside potential will only get unlocked about 15, above $15. Until then, all moves to the upside are probably or could at least still be corrective. Now, we are tracking down, we are following down. I think now that we broke support, we are on track to, to going lower into that $7 range at least. There are two different wave counts here. So one wave count suggests that we've come down here in a wave three, we moved up in a wave four on the 11th of November, and we're now coming down in a wave five. That could be quite a strong and long move to the downside. That could actually take us into that region, oh, after all, you know, into the region around $4, maybe, or whatever, you know, below $4. It, it, it is what it is, it is possible. Um, that is certainly a possibility, absolutely, and we need to have that on the radar. Yeah, we have at the moment no way of knowing which scenario is working out, but I tell you one thing, the way the crypto market is working out at the moment and with Bitcoin still expected to make another low in the 14K range, I I don't think that any, you know, even, even below $7, I mean, $7 sort of is, this, is the first key support level. We talked about that in the last video and videos but I cannot and will not rule out that we will even go lower than $7. You know, it, it takes as long as it takes and hopefully Solana will recover properly. But this is the orange wave count. As long as we're adhering to that, I'm going to keep tracking this one. Um, in this wave count here, we are heading further to the downside and we are going to go to $7 first and then probably see a retracement, a strong one, and then come down further into that last support area where we will have to turn around, otherwise we go to zero. The other count, which is a little bit more, layer, well, it's not necessarily as bearish, um, is the assumption that the wave four actually peaked here. Yeah, and so forget about the orange count, that all of this is a, is a triangle, an Elliott wave triangle, basically here, A, B, C, and then we came down in D and E. It's a bit of a constructed count, but it's absolutely valid. Um, and from here, then we started a five wave move down, yeah? And this five wave move down from there would not necessarily be so bearish, but is it really realistic? So it would assume that we moved down here and had a one, two setup here. Uh, I'm gonna change the color in a minute. This was a, a wave three, we had another one, two, uh, sorry, A, B, C, D, E, Elliott wave triangle in four, and we're now heading down in five. With this count, we could nearly, you know, have completed this downside, and we could be on track of moving back to the upside very shortly. Do I believe it? <laughs> Do I believe it? Well, to be honest, um, probably not really, but it is certainly something still that we want to have on the radar. So let me... Let me see uh, what we can get out of this. So target for the wave five, yeah, if, if we if we use that and calculate the target for the wave five, we can take the length of the wave one. Let's see if we can get to a meaningful target here that we need to focus on. And then we go to the high of the wave four, which is here, it's an Elliott wave triangle. So we get here two targets. Um, the first one would be the one, well, it's basically the 1.618 extension at 10.35. This is the first level. I mean, if we get to that level, we could, based on the yellow count, have five waves down complete. So this is certainly a target where we would, also, as you can see, the channel would hit that perfectly. So coming down here, hitting the channel would be quite, would be all right, yeah, in this wave five. And then, you know, maybe the low is in. Maybe this is the end of the bear market. Do I believe it? Not until I see a clear signal, but it, I wanted to make you aware for everybody who's concerned about Solana and I am concerned. This is only a suggested count, not necessarily high probability, but it's certainly something that we need to have on the radar here. Um, 
another target i mean sometimes you you get the 200 percent extension as well in wave 5 so 992 so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this support area onto the chart now uh, to highlight that this is a possible target here i'll make that yellow uh, on you know what we will keep that that's the blue count we'll make it blue just to highlight that this is the blue count and this target area is blue as well so if this one works out we'll know that this um if this if we are going to react very strongly to the support area then um this gives us a good indication that yeah you know at least we can expect some upside and then we just need to look at the structure because in the current environment um i think nobody seriously assumes that we have the low already in not in the current environment not with what happened with ftx recently the sentiment is really really down really bad but we are not so bad you know that people are that everybody has capitulated i think we're gonna see i mean probably like another black swan event 2023 or so but this could be the point where a more substantial low is be put in is going to be put in um but i'm more leaning towards the orange count just by looking at what do i expect for bitcoin and so on but yeah this is what i'm gonna track for you i will make you aware certainly about this and keep you updated about this so that's really everything we can talk about here um, because besides make that Solana made a new low, which was in line with expectation, and it's it's followed the channel to the downside. Not too many things, ex uh, not too many ex exciting things are happening here. Other than I wanted to make you aware of this additional count, which is possible, but the orange count still is what I'm leaning to. That would be more bearish. Okay, and that's my update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.